Welcome back, everybody, to Gray Summit, Missouri, and the Purina Incredible Dog Challenge National Championships. Our next event getting set to go. Focus, intensity, speed, and skill is what our next event is all about. This is the 60 Weave Pole Competition. It's a head-to-head -head race where the first dog cross the finish wins, even if it's just by a nose. Head-to-head -head action coming your way. Heat number one featuring Ricky and Kamikaze. Kamikaze right there, a Border Collie, and Ricky, a Belgian Melanois. Now Kamikaze, because he's a Border Collie and has a smaller body, should have the advantage here. Oh, and right off the start, a big mistake by Kamikaze. Just too excited, he missed his entry. Looks like Ricky's going strong, staying focused up to the end. Oh, and he oh, pulls out, out too. Okay, well, this could be a close race now. He's got to go back in and pick up where he popped out. Kamikaze making the charge. There you go. Wow. That was a turn of events. <laughs> Just like that, it's not over till it's over. <laughs> exactly. Simple as that. On the start again, too excited. Pops in on the second bar. He obviously had to hit the first bar. They had to go back to the beginning and start over. But later on in the course, you see Ricky here just lost concentration and focus and popped out too soon. And that's really the key is trying to keep the dog targeted all the way down at the 60 hole. He pops out, stays out, and there we've got our winner, Kamikaze. Now, when you look at the size of the dogs, this is an interesting matchup in heat number two. This is Millie and Calla. That's Calla right there. Doberman Pinscher, a larger dog than Millie at top of your screen. It's a Sheltie, smaller dog. And you'll definitely see a difference in styles here, although, wow, Millie is really keeping up right now with Calla. Large dogs do a sidestep through the weave pulls because of their body length and size. Small dogs pop through with both legs. But right there, the large dog style came through first. Great matchup there, Calla with the clean run. Both dogs with a clean run, but it's Calla who gets through first. Millie got a good start and kept it up for a bit, but Calla just sprung out in front. And look there, Calla's back legs almost just hop through because she's going so fast with her front. And there, across the finish line, no problems. So Calla and Kamikaze earning a right to compete in the final round for the national championship title. Here it is, there's Kamikaze on the top of your screen. Closest to us, Calla, the Doberman pitcher, who will be our national champion. Here we go. Well, Border Collars normally dominate this event. And you can see Kamikaze out in front, but Calla is giving her a run for her money. Oh, a problem for Kamikaze. She pops out. It's going to have to go back. Can Calla stay on track? She does. She's our champion. Two clean runs for Calla. No mistakes, and that's what it takes here in the 60 week pole event to be the national champion, Shalene. Both dogs started off fast and had a good rhythm, but the problem happened on Kamikaze's side. It looked like she kind of just got off step and off rhythm, and it threw her out of the line. The rhythm off for Kamikaze, rhythm on for Kala. Let's go to Shaleen, who's with our winner. We've got a national champion right here in the 60 Weave Pulls, Kala. You know, a Doberman, you don't usually see them doing this type of an event. Uh, this is a first for us, too, so we are very excited. How do you trade from going 12 poles up to 60? What did you do to get her to be able to do that? Believe it or not, we never did 60. Um, we <laughs> trained on 12, and then we trained a few times on 18 and maybe twice on 24, and that's all we've done. Well, this was natural talent and speed yes. coming through She's here. A good girl. Very good girl and an awesome win. Congratulations.